All right, so just came back from the maiden voyage for the for this new exhaust. Uh, so it, it it runs good. It's smooth. Um, I don't really don't see a difference between this exhaust and a stock exhaust. Uh, keep in mind that I do have a a catalytic converter. Uh, it's right in here. It's right after the O2 sensor, uh, but uh, right in front of the joint right there. And also over here, I have the uh, DB killer, you know, the insert. Um, and you guys watched the other video, you, you heard how deep the sound is. So, you know, obviously low, lower revs is deeper as that revs increase, you know, that frequency increases. So, so it's not as deep, uh, but it still sounds real good. Uh, not that loud, actually. Um, you know, once I get to about 50 miles an hour, the wind is going to be louder than, than the exhaust. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it runs smooth. Um, I only actually I only wrote it in the standard standard mode. Not um, I didn't try it in B mode or A mode. Uh, I should have maybe I should have tried it in A mode. But anyways, I mostly ride standard mode because it's because the standard mode is like the smoothest one. It's, it feels like a it feels like a very well tuned carbureted bike. Um, so so that's how that's how the standard mode feels and with this exhaust compared to the stock it, you know I don't notice a difference in, in the smoothness there's no there's no abruptness there's no um, there's no uh, dead point or you know some point where you know in some bikes there's a certain RPM where it feels like it drops off or whatever this one it, it, I don't feel any of that so it feels great um, uh, yeah Looking at it, it's still it's still more or less has its color. Uh, maybe got a little, slightly a little bit darker, slightly uh, maybe slightly straw color. Um, looking up over here, where the, the headers are, where the where the bends are, right before the bends, um, where it comes down, it's starting to slightly just tad bit, just a hint of blue I see. So so that means that you know. When steel goes blue, that means it's getting up there in temperature. It's around uh, 800 degrees. The straw color, straw color you see is around 350 or so degrees. Um, let's see what else about this. This is awesome that I like. So it sounds good. It's quiet enough for me. I don't like I don't like loud noises. You know, loud exhausts. Uh, I like deep, deep, dirty sound. You know, most people like a deep, dirty sound. Some people like really loud sounds, but I, I don't. That's why I have the DB killer and the uh, and the uh, catalytic converter. Well, I don't want to cause more pollution than I need to, uh, but also I don't like the exhaust smell, so that's why I prefer to have the catalytic converter. Uh, one of the things I like about this exhaust is right here. If you look at the headers, how the header comes down, and it actually kind of hugs. You know, it hugs the engine. So it's like this nice, very smooth, smooth the whole way. If you look at the say, say look at the uh, Akropovich, uh, you know it, it comes down, and right here it's like a ninety degree. It comes down, it's like a ninety degrees, and it goes back. So that's you know, I never really liked that look. Uh, that that's one of the looks that bothered me. I I, I love the can the, on the Akropovich can, the tie, tie one, well, not not the carbon one, but the tie one, where it's nice and tucked in here, and the exhaust belly sticks out like right here somewhere, the exhaust tip. So I really like that. That looks cool, but uh, but uh, the reason why I got this exhaust is because uh, you know this the terminani, terminani. That's how you sound say it, terminani. So uh, is um, has a deeper sound than the Akapovich. So um, so yeah, that's why I picked this one. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the style of the can where where you know it just kind of stick out a little bit. Uh, like I said, I prefer the the Akapovich uh, tie can better. It's very similar to the stock can, where it's tucked underneath the you know underneath the engine. Uh, uh, other things that I don't like about this exhaust is, and I think I mentioned that in my other video, is how it's mounted. You know, it's a strap type mount. I'm not a fan of those. I prefer the the type of uh, can set that have a that are the the the, the mount the tabbing the uh, Mounting tab is 
either riveted on there or if it's or it's uh, welded on there so so you know so there's no strap so, so I think that's the main thing that I'm like about this as far as the looks is the strap first first off and uh, I prefer the, the exhaust cam to be more tucked up underneath uh, under the, the engine under the bike uh, but I really like the, the headers how it uh, how it hugs the uh, how it hugs the engine uh, you know this this head is different from from other headers where there's no connecting uh, there's no connecting tube between any of the any of the headers so so I didn't notice a difference at all as far as you know performance wise it feels if it, it feels just like stock it's nice and smooth uh, a little bit dirtier a little deeper that's about it um, just a tad bit louder um, so yeah maybe you know if you put on a, the dyno or something you might see a little bit of a difference you know just like if you look at the dyno chart for this exhaust uh, you see a little bit of a difference not you know, it's not that much uh, it's only like a, I think a couple of horsepower or a couple of pounds of torque or something like that you know along along the stock curve uh, power curve um, but otherwise yeah I like it so uh, so that's so this is an option you know I think I mentioned on my other video I bought this exhaust directly from Italy I got it on eBay uh, direct from Italy from I'm not sure if it's from from this company or it's a, a bike shop in Italy that was selling it's probably a bike shop in Italy that was selling this um, and that's you know that's the cheapest route is, you know with the catalyzer you know, that catalytic converter cost an extra hundred bucks uh, with that shipped to my door uh, it, it was about 850 or so somewhere around there so it's about 850 or just under 850 uh, I mean you can't beat that if you if you choose not to get the catalytic converter 750 I mean that's that's a bargain you know you, you know you look at the you look at the the Akapovich Thai exhaust uh, the one that you know the one that with the cannons underneath here that thing is like 1200 bucks you know and that's that's without the catalyzer you know with the catalyzer it's like 1300 bucks you know another 100 bucks on top of that uh, so 1200 bucks which is uh, 750 um, you know that's a no-brainer right there huh uh, so this exhaust the the header the, the the collector right here all that stainless steel even though it says you know they refer to this as tie that part that's tie is the can the outside of the can not the inside okay it's just the outside cover of the can that's part is tie and obviously the carbon fiber uh, end tip I wish the end tip was also tie as well but I'm not complaining too much um, so and it's the same thing with most other uh, exhaust that says tie you know the the headers and stuff is not no on those exhaust the, the headers and stuff is not tie it's stainless the part that's tie is the can itself right here so that's that's the difference okay uh, so don't, don't don't confuse those uh, and the reason for that is it's a uh, tie it's not a good material to use for for headers it's just doesn't uh, Yes, you know, tie and heat doesn't doesn't uh, uh, tie doesn't go very well with 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 heat compared to say stainless. Um, if now if the if the header was tie, this thing would be, geez, a lot more expensive um, than it is. Uh, okay, so I don't think I have anything else to say about this this thing. So. Yeah, thanks for watching.